Hey guys, it's JP, and this time I want to go over another running tip to help improve the way you run. So last week, I talked about the differences in foot strike, which simply refers to which region of the foot hits the ground first when running. Depending on this, it could change the way forces are distributed through the leg and body. However, one point I brought up was that instead of focusing on using only one foot strike, you should mix them up. By mixing up the way you land, you distribute forces across different areas of the leg instead of focusing it on just a few areas. This may lead to improved ability for your legs to handle the forces placed on them when you run. Though ironically, one of the best ways to do this is not to focus on the foot strike. This means that you should not necessarily focus on changing your foot strike pattern throughout your runs. If you are consciously thinking about the specific part of the foot you will land on, it could be very tedious and mentally exhausting. So instead, I want to give you a simpler and more practical approach. This is to incorporate variety in your runs. This means incorporating runs involving different speeds and paces. Many long distance runners tend to do long runs at a relatively constant pace. However, it may be beneficial to include something like interval training, which is where you're basically running for quick bursts with rest periods in between. By mixing up the speeds, this will involve different foot strike patterns, which will therefore distribute forces placed on the leg a bit more evenly. Another way to do this is through running in different environments, such as variety of surfaces and hills or slopes. By running on different terrain, this will change the way your foot will hit the ground at your respective pace. For example, when you run uphill, people typically adopt more of a forefoot strike, and the opposite is true when going downhill. Overall, both of these methods will naturally change the way the foot lands. I find this way more practical instead of trying to focus on a particular landing. Again, how exactly this is done depends on the runner. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.